writers, tomorrow we will have a writing celebration where we will share our books with each other. So today I want to teach you that writers put a lot of finishing touches on their books so that they are ready for others to read them. And if writers aren't sure what to do, they can always look to their trusted mentor text to support them. Writers, let's take a peek right now at the cover of George McClemens' book. What do you see on the cover that might potentially be missing from your books? I see a picture on the cover. I see a title, Night of the Veggie Monster. And I see the author's name, George McClement. We will need to make sure that we add those three things to our books today. A picture, the title, and the author's name, so your name. Writers. Right now, help me figure out how George came up with the title and the picture on the cover of his book. Well, we know the boy hates vegetables and he even felt like he was turning into a monster. And that's the most exciting part of the book, right? That's probably why he called the book Night of the Veggie Monster and not, I ate a pea, <laughs> right? That's not exciting. Night of the Veggie Monster is very exciting. Well, that's what writers do. They look back through all the pages in their book and think, hmm, which title will help my readers understand what the whole book is about and get them wanting to read on? Then they come up with a title, which is just a few words Night of the Veggie Monster to describe the whole story, the big picture. Also, did you notice how the picture on the cover is actually one of the pictures from a page inside the book? Let me show you. Look, this was a page inside the book. I think he chose this for the cover because reader, readers are going to want to know if the boy is actually going to eat the peas. It gets us excited to find out what will happen next in the story. Okay, writers, now it is your turn. You need to look back through the pages of your book and think about what title would help your reader understand what your whole book is about. Just like Night of the Veggie Monster, the whole book is about this boy who hates vegetables. Think about a part that is really exciting or really important. Then you will look at each page and ask, does this fit with my title? If it does, that's great. If not, you're gonna to need to try another title, and then another, and then another, until you find one that feels just right. Also, you might use a picture that you've already drawn inside the book, just like George McClemens did, or you could pick a whole new picture for the cover of your book. That's up to you. And either way, your picture should give the reader clues about what the story is going to be about. As you go off to work today, make sure you choose a title for your story that's just a few words, an illustration or a picture that brings your whole story to life. And don't forget to jot your name because you are an author. I cannot wait to read your published books tomorrow, writers.